Are you ready for fall? I know I am. I am super excited for fall. Let me tell you why. I hate summer. I very, 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 very loathe summer. Springtime. Springtime, yeah, I have my moments where I like it and I have my moments where I hate it. Um, the reason why I hate summertime the most is because it's so hot. Um, this summer has probably been one of the worst for us because we haven't had AC. <laughs> so um, we have a window unit that's actually back in my office and I keep it super cold back there because I keep inventory um, for my events. So I have to kind of keep it really cold because I don't want my bars to melt. Um, but overall in the house, it's it's hot. Like it's 79 degrees in the house right now. That's why my hair's up. It's not getting done. It's hot in here. I hate summertime. I love the fall. I love the winter time. I'm super excited for the new catalog. I'm super excited for everything that's going to be coming out. And I'm super excited to share with you September's warmer instead of the month. Now, if you are a part of my VIP group, you have already actually seen the image of the warmer um, as a VIP. You guys get to see all the sneak peeks before I post them anywhere else. Um, so if you're not a part of my VIP group, message me and see how you can be at it. Um, one of the perks of being a VIP not only is to see the image, but you guys get to see the video of my review of everything before it gets released as well. What? And the reason... Ha and the reason why this can be done is because one of the perks is being a consultant is we get a subscription kit um, that we can purchase and it is a super awesome deal for us as a consultant because not only do we get the warmer, we get bars, we get a room spray, and we get party testers, and we get flyers and stickers that you guys have probably seen on my flyers um, in the previous months. So it's a great deal for us as a consultant to be able to have these kind of perks and not only is it a great deal for you as a VIP because you get to see it all before I post it anywhere else. So I have to be a little honest with you, I was very kind of skeptical with this warmer because as a consultant we get to see the image, um, the flyer on the 1st of every month. So October, not October, August 1st we got to see um september's warmer and then on september 1st we'll get to see october's warmer so it's a little kind of like uh i don't know if i'm going to be in love with this warmer um mainly because it was telling me it was a 15 watt bulb warmer and typically our three-piece warmers are not that low in wattage they're the lowest to go have gone is to 20 watt bulbs so it was really like okay so this warmer is regularly 45 and it's going to use a 15 watt which tells me the warmer is going to have to be pretty small and we were told, no, it's not a typo, it is a 15 watt bulb, and then once we see it, we'll understand why it is a 15 watt bulb instead of a 20 watt bulb. So I have it here, and I'm extremely happy with this warmer and how it turned out. Um, I totally get the 15 watt bulb now. I love everything they did with this. We haven't had a jack-o'-lantern type of warmer in quite a while. We typically have been having a white warmer or a rustic looking warmer or like you know the the orange color um pumpkins so i'm really excited about this one because it's very different from the other ones we've had in quite a while and it's very unique so i love it it's awesome so i'm going to start with the warmer um so first i'm gonna show you the flyer that's the flyer that's actually him lit up and that's what he looks like he is a black pumpkin his name is jack and he glows when it's lit up and ankle has that nice warm glow of orange um so it's a little scary looking when it's lit up at nighttime and i absolutely adore it if i were to actually decorate for halloween i i, I would keep this warmer for myself it's very very cool so i'm gonna show you him that lit up and i'll break it down so it kind of makes more sense about how a 15 watt bulb can go in this warmer so this is what Jack looks like, and you kind of can see the orange inside already. And he has a kind of a satin black touch. You can kind of see where my hands were already on it. And it has holes in the back as well as the top. Um, because it is a three piece, we gotta have some way to get the scent out. And of course we have our nice little Scentsy logo right here and it's a black cord. Um, it is seven inches tall and I would say probably around five inches in width. So let me show you some really cool things about this. One, probably my most favorite part of it 
is the dish. It's a clear dish. Typically, our three-piece warmers are not clear. The dish is, this is, I think, the first one we've ever had where it's a clear dish. Um, what I like about it is that means when the, the light is on, it shines through. Um, a great one that could use a clear dish is actually Calavera. If you know the Calavera, it's the sugar skull warmer, and it lights up, it has a nice glow to it, but it stops right at the head, the top of it, because the dish is not clear, and the top portion of the warmer does not glow. And now if you were to purchase a clear dish and replace the dish that's already on there, similar to this one, you can actually get it to glow all the way through. Mm, tape it. All right, so how the 15-watt bulb works is... If I can grab it without breaking it it's this it's an insert that goes in it that actually holds the heat in so inside it's the 15 watt bulb it's orange inside and you put this in and it sits inside of course my dog wants to bark when I'm doing this then you do that and then this goes here and then you can kind of slide it around to get it to fully line up if you're like OCD and you need to have it perfectly line up. Now all my lights are on so when I turn this on you're probably like well that doesn't look very scary but I will be inserting some pictures of him um, of what he looks like when he's in the dark. So let's see. So this is what he looks like when he's lit up so you can have a nice little glow and it lights in the back and it lights in the top. So the scent can be released. This helps hold the heat in as well. And then the lights are in the back. Very cool, isn't it? I absolutely love it. I am thoroughly impressed by this warmer. Um, since he has, I, I don't know, never doubt them because they're freaking awesome. Um, and he's absolutely awesome when he's lit up at night. Now we go on to the scent, and the scent is called Mandarin Toffee Treat. Now, if you are a fan of Mandarin Moon in the past few falls, um, falls ago, many moons ago, um, well, not really, it's like two years ago, probably. Probably two years. Um, it's one of my most favorite fall smells. So, I'm going to give you, if you are somebody that's a fan of Mandarin Moon, a little bit of suggestion of a mixing of this other scent to give you the two Mandarin Moon that we all love dearly until they discontinued and broke so many hearts um so mandarin moon is sugar mandarin and sugar cane drizzled with creamy toffee butter um at first whiff you get the mandarin and you get the sweetness from the i would definitely say the the toffee um i have worn this already and i mean as soon as i got it i smelled it and i'm like it's mine and it's in the warmers right now um it's very sweet if you are a fan of very sweet 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 smells um like blueberry cheesecake it's very sweet vanilla bean buttercream toffee butter crunch um any of those super sweet caramel pear crisp it's another one and that whipped vanilla pear um this is definitely right up your alley it's very sweet with the like it's kind of the mandarin with um, a good balance of the toffee and the sweetness to it. However, when I warmed it, I found that I smelled more of the toffee in this than the mandarin. So I kind of felt like that overpowered the mandarin part of it. So, but you can really smell the mandarin in it as well. It's, it has like a good balance between both of them. It's a great fall smell. When I smell it, I immediately think of Halloween. I think of trick-or-treating. So I think the scent works really well with this warmer. And I can really smell the mandarin with like a, to me it has a marshmallowiness to it. Um, it could be from the toffee butter, but I smell the mandarin in it. So I think if you were to take this scent and mix it with, let's say, autumn sunset, maybe clove and cinnamon, something with a lot of spice to it, you can get your mandarin moon. And I just happen to have a mandarin moon because I love it. Mm. And essentially, they replaced the spice that's in Mandarin Moon with the toffee. That's basically what they did. Um, so if you're a fan of Mandarin Moon, I would definitely suggest getting this scent and mixing it with the spice scent. So like I said, like I mentioned before, Autumn Sunset and Clove and Cinnamon are right up your alley. Those two scents mixed with this one will be perfect. I think it's pretty awesome.